With YouTube attacking alternative media, please consider supporting the channel via Patreon for just a dollar per month. Link below. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And you know, I have talked a lot recently about the situation involving New Mutants and Dark Phoenix and the Disney Fox deal and everything going on with that. And quite frankly, none of it matters. Not a bit of it matters whatsoever. Uh, no one is interested in this shit anymore. Uh, but uh, this this new particular uh, development is interesting because it's it's it makes me question a couple things. That says here that the new mutants might actually be rated R depending on the reshoots. Now, if you recall correctly, the movie we saw the first teaser trailer for the movie a year ago this month. It was slated for April of this year. Then it was pushed back to August because I wanted to do reshoots. Then it was dumped to next year, and now it's being pushed to August of next year after the Disney uh, Fox deal officially goes through, which is very, very, very peculiar uh, considering. Then, of course, uh, you know, we, we're hearing about these reshoots. They want to make it uh, PG-13, not R-rated, even though it was never confirmed to be R-rated. Many people figured Fox was just going the Logan route. It seemed to make a lot of sense considering the subject matter and the material that they were pulling from. But still, nothing was really known about this. And now we're finding out about these reshoots and it's getting interesting. So it says here, with the new Mutants movie getting its release date pushed back again to August 2019 from the original April 2018 plan, there was a rumor that the X-Men property could lean straight, uh, lean into straight horror, meaning it would carry an R rating as well. Speaking with Collider, Simon Kinberg said the film was about to undergo reshoots, though the film could still be rated R, saying here, it's the kind of movie that could go R or it could go hard PG-13. As I was saying before in the terms of subgenres or the genre, it's obviously tease as a horror film and most films these days are r-rated but it stars a very young cast so we'll see it is really what the movie wants to be the studio is open to either rating traditionally superhero movies are pg-13 other than logan and deadpool and generally horror films are r-rated so we'll see where this one falls it's a very scary edgy movie well yeah right it is that's true now it hasn't undergone reshoots yet meaning Josh Boone's original movie is still there. It, it's still there. It's still it's still where it's supposed to be, uh, you know, and, and they, they've been getting ready. Now, granted, they probably had to hold off because of um, Anna Taylor Joy, who was in Glass and that whole thing. Maisie Williams finishing up uh, uh, Game of Thrones. Um, Henry Zaga, 13 Reasons Why, also had to finish up its season. You've also got um, uh, the one guy... Uh, oh man, I forget his name. He's, he's in, uh, he's in stranger things that dude he's in it. He's in this one as well. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this, because if they haven't actually done the reshoots yet, and it's still pushing for what they were originally going for, which I do believe was going to be R rated, uh, they should just leave it be. They should just leave it be. That is unless, unless these reshoots, which are happening after the dark Phoenix reshoots, which tell me that they want to that they've really gone hard in trying to find ways to connect everything together. I think that this is going to tie into the MCU. Now we know that that Fo that Disney will release the X Men movies that are currently being produced by Fox. We know those are going to come out. Disney has already agreed to that. So at this point, the only people that are going to make money off of this deal when it finally when these movies finally come out is going to be Disney. Fox shareholders are going to get paid. Uh, there's, you know, again, the $72 billion deal. That's going to be the thing. So what is curious to me is why the delay? Why the delay unless they are right now working with Kevin Feige with what they have, with what Fox has already spent hundreds of millions of dollars on when you combine the two films together and, and finding a way to move them together into the MCU. That is the only logical um, reason I can see here now, new mutants looks like it takes place in current times, so they could easily tie it into something that, uh, that is the darker side of the MCU. If they decided to, to go MCU dark, very similar to what, uh, DC is attempting to do with like the Joker, uh, but not have it be like an Elseworlds type thing, but have it be more of just kind of like a darker sinister line of, uh, of, of that particular, you know, uh, of those particular stories. That could be fascinating and then release those underneath the 20th Century Fox banner, because as we know, it's not going to be absorbed. 
20th Century Fox is going to continue being a, a film studio, probably a little truncated and they're going to be putting out a little bit different content. But ultimately, it's going to be a, uh, uh, its own studio still just uh, operating underneath Disney. Uh, Disney, uh, Walt Disney Studios is going to be its own company uh, with the, and the, the only thing they're going to share is the same parent company. So anything could really happen. But all the X-Men is going to be going back underneath Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios, meaning that is the connecting link. So Kevin Feige gets it there and work on these movies and go, oh, I can finally play a little bit in that darker playground after spending 10 years and 20 movies doing the PG-13 fair and not really going into the hardcore areas. He might now be given that opportunity to do that and have them still cross over, but still serve different markets. I mean, look at the popularity of the of the, the, the Netflix series. Those are dark, almost hard R in some cases uh, shows that have a very, very, very devout following. Uh, a very, very, very large following. And Netflix seems willing to keep those around because, well, people love them. And they are the ones who kind of hold <laughs> the keys to that particular castle. So I could see that happening here. I could see 20th Century Fox, when it becomes its own banner, being treated very similar to Miramax back in the day. Where, yes, Miramax was owned by ABC, but it was an entirely different company. And they produced, produced a lot of stuff. In fact, I remember in the mid-90s when uh, there was a movie called Jefferson and love or jefferson and paris starring nick nolte and there's a lot of nudity and sex in it there was a whole bunch of uh like mommy groups that came out right these family values organizations that came out the puritans uh, in the mid 90s and they were oh they were up in arms about this movie right they were up in arms about how dirty and gross and sexual it was and that it was owned by disney well disney also owned touchstone and a few other ones that put out different types of content so yeah, separating them will allow them to maybe go to that darker route because there would be no way underneath Marvel Studios and Walt Disney Pictures uh, or Walt Disney Studios that Kevin Feige would be able to go the route of Deadpool or go the route of Logan. And we've seen that those are actually quite profitable. Those actually can, can garner award status, uh, nominations at least, and again, have a very large devout following. So it seems to make sense that you're going to have eventually your MCU that's going to be for the families and then you have your MCU that's going to probably be for the kids and you have your MCU that's going to be very much for the older audience. And that is the way it should be. And I'm totally, totally, totally on board with that. Anyway, I went off on a whole tangent on that one. So that's that's my whole thing. But anyway, what do you guys think about this one? Do you think that New Mutants will be rated R? Uh, do you think that it's going to be shelved? I'd like to know. Let me know in the comments if you haven't already. Uh, right down below. Let me know. It is a bear. Put bear in the chat if you guys made it this far. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day. And peace out.